Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Jeremy and I play games and welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be working on... Oh, I didn't actually plan this out. I just thought I would start recording and start walking through my base. So this is what we've done. I'm very proud of it. This is all of what we've accomplished so far. 12 ep or uh, yeah this is the 13th episode lucky number 13 because it's the 13th episode I decided we don't really do much I think we just take a look back on what we've done you know the series is nowhere near over I haven't been having a blast doing this this is the longest series I've ever made even though it's only episode 13 it's still the longest series I've ever made which uh, if if you want to know the full story, I'd be more than willing to tell it of why it's the longest series I've ever made and just all about me as much as I'm willing to tell you guys. And, uh, it should be fun. So, we'll start off where it all began. Not, not my spawn point. I don't want to go back that far. But we will start off where it all began. We showed up. And we made this base. There used to be water flowing through here. And we had sugar canes running here. I barely remember that. But this was the this was the start of the base. And then I decided that I would start working on a secret project called Turtleville. Well, of course, after doing some caving, creating that farm actually came later. Just doing some mining and the boring stuff. After doing all that, I came back. And I was like, alright, I'm going to go work on a secret project. And I decided... Well, after um, deciding that I didn't want to make Turtleville here, and I wanted to make it somewhere else, then we would do that. So I scratched the secret project. or uh, Well, didn't really scratch it. I, I changed the location to here. And I think this is much more of a suited area. So this is Turtleville. Turtleville has been my project so far. It's been my big project, which I'm actually super pumped about. I, I've i actually had a lot of fun, you know. I haven't really done much programming recently, which I think I'm going to start doing again, because I need to keep my skills freshened. Because if I forget how to program, then, oh, wow, we're going we're gonna to be screwed if I forget how to program. But this is, so this is Turtleville. Right there, that's kind of my little base shelter for the moment. Uh, it's got my portal and a few storage chests and stuff like that. But mostly this is just temporary. A lot of this stuff is going to get moved within the next little while. I just have to go through right now and uh, figure out where, how all the storage is going to work and all that. So that's what's holding me back. I've just been too lazy to figure that much out. Cause I can I pretty much just have to go through and label all of the items that I've got. I I love I love overdoing these things because it's so much fun. Because then it's like all perfect and expandable. Uh, one of the first things that I added was uh, a little bedroom right here. Now I wanted to do something cool here with this building, which I still think actually I could expand out like right over here. I wanted to do something cool because if you look down here. Are those cows getting away? Yeah, oh well. They're just cows, it's no big deal. Uh, one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to create something cool for this little like under thing because it was something I was going to see a lot and I wanted it to look cool. So I added glass. And I was like, alright, that's, that's good enough. It's good enough for right now. I'm going to expand on it later. I originally was going to make this into my storage room. But after deciding, I wouldn't. I wouldn't really have a good place to put the chests, and it would like sub it would uh, take away the uh, glass and see-through feel. And it just feels like really co cozy up here for some reason. Even though it's like very open with the windows, it just feels very cozy. And I never really appreciate this as much as I should because this is one of my more favorite builds I've done, just because it's glass and it's all pretty and everything. And then after that, off camera, I secretly was working on a project, and I made the cow farm. 
Uh, now, it started with just four cows, but has expanded to a few more than four. And finally, off camera, this past episode, I finally made a better way of getting out as opposed to just breaking and stuff like that. I'm actually going to steal some more wheat and breed the more cows. I added these just as a cool way of storing hay, or not hay, wheat. Is it a hay bale? If it's a hay bale, why do you make, why do you use wheat to make it? What is it called? Do do do. Hay bale, yeah, why, if it's a hay bale, why do you use wheat to make it? Yeah, but just as a cool way of storing the wheat. I thought I would do that. And this, down this way, is going to be the future project of the tree farm. Now I just gotta do that. I have been putting that off for a while because I haven't really wanted to think about that. I've actually been pretty busy in my uh, outside YouTube life, so yeah. Then after doing the cow farm, oh gosh, I forget what I did next. But I know uh, I have expanded, gone to the nether, I found a blaze spawner. I just got to make a blaze farm and stuff like that. I created this big wheat farm, and I've got some branch mines down there. This used to be my wheat farm. It was very tiny. Now, the mods that I have installed, I completely forgot to put this at the beginning, but the mods I have installed are, in the description of every Mines and Mods video, is uh, Turtle or Computer Craft, which is kind of the main mod that I'm going around I've got TF2 teleporters, which are kind of OP, but whatever, because there's like an infinite distance on them. I've got barrels, and I think that's it. I've actually got a few more mods I've been wanting to add. I just haven't gotten around to doing it, mainly because I haven't looked to see, uh, like I haven't looked to find them or anything like that. So we we will cross that bridge when we get there. Now these two turtles, I have a door plug-in or door program that I wrote. Now it's very weird because both of these turtles work perfectly if if they're, if they're by themselves. But as soon as I put them on top of each other, they get all wonky. So if I ever make a door thing again, I'm gonna have one turtle there, one turtle there. I think that's what's gonna work best. Maybe I'm just doing it weird, I don't know. It's a very short program. And it's like, oh, it's whatever. I'll worry about it later. But yeah, so this is pretty much the space. Got some brewer bleh, brewers that I've never used. But yeah, that's pretty much the space. And then the most recent thing that we've been working on the past few episodes, which is nowhere near complete yet, is my storage room. Now my storage room is something, storage rooms are always near and dear to my heart because I always overcomplicate it and it's always so much fun. Now, right here is the to-do list. Just kind of thought I would randomly add that. But the, the storage room is always my favorite part because I get to overdo everything. Like, I've spent... I spend part of an episode planning this out on how it might look and how it would work. I integrated teleporters and made a hub for the teleporters. And, and I'm going to go and give everything, like, way too much storage. It's going to be fantastic. I just I just love doing storage rooms because it's always so much fun to just overdo everything. Because I'm me and I, I overdo all the things. But right now uh, the we have two two sections. Man, I can't talk. Two sections of the storage room. We've got the main, the mostly used item section, which is right here, most used and surplus. So things like cobblestone. Man, I have a bunch of cobblestone. Cobblestone, dirt, gravel, stone, stone brick. All of that's going to go here. And we've got wood, and I don't know what I'm going to put there yet. And then here we've got valuables. Just going to take these and make some blocks. Yeah, so here we've got valuables, which are always useful. So we've got lapis, redstone, coal, iron, gold and diamond I've been making some diamond pickaxes and stuff like that but then over here is everything else now this has been updated since last episode last episode I just had the hole dug and random torches placed everywhere 
but now I've got actually a non-torch lighting system, which is always nice, and it looks beautiful because it's it's torchless and like I mean I love torches. Torches are have a special place in my heart just because they're so useful. But having something that's not torch light, well, it's a game uh, is like not torch driven. It's just something nice about that. So yeah. So that's that's about it. This is with the storage room. The plan is is I'm gonna have like way too much storage for um, all of the items in here, and I'll probably expand the roof up by one. Just is that no, that's not grass. Do we have any grass here? Yeah, like oh yeah, dang it, we do. Oh well. I yeah I I gotta do a lot of stuff in this room still. It's nowhere near complete. It's just dug. I guess that's the hard part. Well, the hard part is actually math. It's a lot of this. Fun fact about Minecraft: a lot of it's actually math driven. Like all like I as much as you hate math. Actually, I love math. Math is my favorite. But as much as people hate math, if you play this game, it's all math driven. You know all the blocks. They're all like a meter squared and you know how you build it's all math driven you know because if I build this that's four blocks that's a two by two I have to have a place for a door and I hate building with even numbers so there we go we just created an odd block structure but yeah just some just some fun, fun facts about Minecraft and it's math so that's actually going to do it for this episode, guys. I know the past couple episodes have been short. Might do like an hour special soon, even though it's going to take butts to render and butts to upload. Because I'm actually, the way that my house is, it'd be like, this is the router. Like if the anvil was the router, I'm down in that base. Is pretty much how this works. Like I'm as as far as way po far as way po far away as possible for my router and it's not fun well i gotta go i gotta swim me to b2 in 30 minutes and i gotta prepare for that i'm a swimmer yes but i hope you guys enjoyed i have been really enjoying the series if you have please feel free to give this a like or give the playlist a like the playlist i think is always down in the description so if you want to start from the beginning and watch where it all began and watch as i grew and as I continue to grow, because this is the series is nowhere near complete. I have so many ideas. All you gotta know is I want a bridge to that side. So yeah, that's gonna do it for me for today, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed. And until next time, I'll see you around. Bye bye.